Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Diane Rusk. I'm an expert in protecting your bottom line. I'm going to cushion your business if you happen to fall. We don't want to fall, but sometimes that does happen to us. And it's very important that you know your bottom line is protected. We work very hard for our businesses to grow, but we have to protect them along the way, just like we protect our families. So what I'm going to do is have a visual to help you uh, get an idea of exactly what I'd like to share with you. So we have protection. Cushions protect us, right? The bottom line. We've got one here. And we've got protection here. And we're going to add a little bit more protection here. OK. From this audience that's looking, if you were going to fall, or let's say you had to sit on one of these chairs, which one would you prefer to sit on? Oh, quick. <laughs> Pointing here. All right? Majority of you doing that. OK. What does this chair offer you or have that this one does not? Comfort. Comfort, right? More cushion. More cushion. And colorful. And colorful. So you feel good about this one. OK. Not so much in this one. OK. What if? This is going to cost you more than this. This protection is nice and comfortable, but it's going to cost you more than this one. How do you feel about that? That would be fine. That would be fine. Anybody else? I'd like to know the value. Of okay. That. All right. Okay. So is it worth it? You bet it is. When you're a business owner and you need protection that you haven't even thought of how it can affect your business, you're going to want the most comfortable cushion if and when we do fall. Okay. So let me give you an idea of some of the things that can happen as a business owner. And I say medium-sized owners because when you're a small business owner, you don't think you're big enough, right? You've, you're just barely getting there. Maybe you have an accountant, maybe not. You're making 30, you're writing it down to five. Okay, so you don't have a lot of protection. But as you get more successful and your business is growing, you have assets in your company. You may be having employees. You may be a professional where you have um, a dentist office or a chiropractic office. Your business is growing. You have more wealth, but you also have more to lose. Okay, so it's all about protecting. Who are you building this business for? Yourself and your family. Okay, we have exit strategies. How long am I going to build my business? Who am I going to sell it to? Will I sell it? Okay, now this is where you want protection. We're busily going along our way and our business is going great, but then something happens. This is your protection, but it's gone. What happened there is you had a key employee, and that employee's left you because they found another company who's going to give them health benefits and dental care and life insurance and disability. Have you looked after your employee? No, not really. Does that affect your bottom line on your business? Yeah, it sure does. Okay. A little bit more protection, but oops, that one's gone too. That one was, you're a dentist. You make a living using your hands, but you had an accident. You were snowmobiling with your friends and your hand got crushed. Okay, you can't use that anymore. That affects your bottom line. Another thing that can affect your bottom line is your business partner. Your business partner told you today, I've got breast cancer. I'm going to be okay, but I need weeks of therapy. I need months. I need time off. Does that affect your bottom line? Yeah. Financially and emotionally. So you want to protect these things. Okay, so let me get the push cushions back because we want them there for protection. Okay? Now, it's not all doom and gloom, okay? Because the good news is I'm going to be able to help you through this. There are things that you can do that are so easy to put in place. You may not want to think about them, but this is important for you to get done today and make sure that it's looked after. If you're going to take any notes or take anything back with you, what I want you to write down is cushion. Go ahead. Cushion. <laughs> now I'm being the teacher equals protection equals peace of mind. Okay? And if you go back, one thing that you, you'll remember about me, maybe the cushion lady, but you know that cushion is your protection and it is your peace of mind. Now this can be very serious stuff, I understand. Um, very important to look after in your business, but you need to get it done. And once it's done, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. You would never put your house up and look after it and, and make sure it's very valuable, but never put um, fire insurance on it, okay? You would never not insure your car. You wouldn't look after your children properly when they're riding the bike. You put the helmet on their head. You're protecting. So you've got to protect what's important to you and what you've worked really hard to do, okay? Um, on the lighter side, 
because this business sometimes, you know, is very, uh, very important to look after, but it's not always the most fun when you talk about life and death and things like that, but it's important to look after. Um, whenever I get an email or a joke in my business, I keep them. I hang on to them tight because <laughs> we don't get too many, so I've created a folder. I've got two, <laughs> two emails and two jokes, but one of them is a car driving off a cliff, teetering, and then you can see this gentleman on a cell phone, and the caption above says, do you sell life insurance? <laughs> Not the time to think about it, right? So today, think about those things. And the other one is really kind of funny in, in a way with um, a living will. A living will is if you're not capable of looking after yourself, someone makes decisions for you. And we hope we never get to that point. But there's two girlfriends, they're on their third bottle of wine, watching their favorite TV show, and one of them says to the other girl, she says, you know what, I never want to be in that vegetative state. I don't want to depend on machinery. I don't want fluids coming into my body from bottles. If I ever get to that state, just pull the plug. So her girlfriend gets up, unplugs the TV, gets her wine, and throws it out. <laughs> OK, so you just have to look after those things. Don't worry about them too much, but make sure that you've protected yourself, your business, and your family as well. Okay? And one other thing I just want to tell you, um, sometimes stories make it a little bit more, um, something that you can understand a little bit more makes it sort of hit home. Um, I had about five years ago three business partners, uh, they're still in business today, who said, Diane, I've got my buy-sell agreement in place with a lawyer. This is in case one of them wants to leave, one of them wants to buy out, someone gets sick or dies. That's great. I said, how are you going to fund that? You have a company that's worth half a million dollars. If someone is out of this picture, someone dies, how do you fund their portion to their family? You know, you're not going to sell your business, fire sale, it's really, really tough. I said, let's get some life insurance in place and some critical illness in place, and you'll be protected. We did that. Five years later, one partner had a heart attack. Okay, he's okay, but he won't be able to get life insurance again, especially at that rate. The other partner, he's doing okay, nothing has happened to him. And the third partner, she had a history, uh, sorry, sorry, she had um, some illness, family history and her own illness in the last five years that prevented her from getting any critical illness insurance. In the event she has a heart attack, cancer, stroke, she'd get paid. So these people had it in place. Five years later, it's still in place. Are they happy it's in place? Yeah, you bet. And they're going to keep that insurance, okay? As long as their business is alive, they're going to keep it and even beyond because they personally own it. They've looked after their protection. And in this time and day and age now where the economy is not so, um, so popular, things are happening, markets are dropping, they're going up and down, business owners are just as worried. We're wondering where we're going to put our money if we have any money. I do have an elderly lady who's a client of mine for about three years. She said, Diane, I want you to look after my money. And I said, okay, I can help you. She gave me 700000 to look after. So I thought, no problem. I'm going to help this lady. I'm going to do what's in her best interest. Over the years, the money went up and down and up, but it went quite, quite high to about 800000 But guess what happened in the last few months? Straight down. The markets are going straight down. She gave me 700 Her portfolio on paper is worth about 600 However, I've looked after her needs. I've protected her because I have put her in a product that whenever she passes away, she does not have to worry about this money being up or down. The amount she gave me, the 700, is guaranteed to be paid out regardless of the market or the highest point her money is reached. So last year when her money went up to almost 900,000, I locked it in. So this wonderful lady knows now whenever she passes away, her niece and nephew are getting the 900,000, not the seven that it's worth today. So does she feel good? Yes, she does. She feels protected. So it's just the idea of looking after the stuff that you need to look after. Look after your business, your family. And, you know, on a personal note, I say enjoy your journey along the way. It doesn't have to be too serious and, you know, along that line. But you've got to have some fun. Build your business. Know what you're going to do with it. And learn some little secrets so that you can retire wealthy and pass on your business to other people. But as I said, enjoy the journey.